This LOS is distinguished between temporary and permanent differences in pre-tax accounting income and taxable income. Temporary and permanent differences between taxable and accounting profit. Temporary differences arise from a difference between the tax base and the carrying amount of the assets and liabilities. The creation of a deferred tax asset or liability from a temporary difference is only possible if the difference reverses itself at some future date and to such an extent that the balance sheet item is expected to create future economic benefits for the company. Permanent differences result in a difference in tax and financial reporting of revenue and expenses that will not be reversed at some future date. Because it will not be reversed at a future date, these differences do not constitute temporary differences and do not give rise to a deferred tax asset or liability. So we've seen a few examples. A company might receive in, uh, interest income on tax-exempt bonds. So you've got it on your financial statements. You've got interest income. That's a fact, but it's not taxable. Certain dividends uh, may, uh, may not be taxable. So there's items that may be on the income statement that uh, are not on the tax return, are not taxable, so they're not, they're, they are permanent differences. Or there may be uh, differences uh, with regards to the tax return that are not relevant on the income statement, giving also rise to permanent differences, okay? So IFRS and US GAAP both prescribe the balance sheet liability method for the recognition of deferred tax. This balance sheet method focuses on the recognition of a deferred tax asset or liability should therefore be a temporary difference between the carrying amount and the tax base of, uh, of balance sheet items. And that's the only slide for this LOS. Thank you.